What's going on guys? Welcome back to another daily YouTube video where we cover the market, our trades and the content from EA. It's actually 8, 11 p.m. which is 2 hours and 11 minutes after 6 p.m. and EA have actually just released the content. So we're going to look straight at the content, get into our trades. There's one big trade I'm going to be telling you guys about that I'm making and I think it's a really good low risk investment. Let's get straight into it. First of all, we did get Alexandro, as we told you guys a few days ago on our TikTok and all our socials and our Discord, whatever, whatever. 5 star, 3 star, decent looking card. And he's coming in at a price of around 230k, which I don't think is too bad for how good the card actually is. Good length and also good stat. Five star skills, obviously nice on the left back. And it's three squads, which requires 82, 85, 86. I don't think that's horribly priced. We'll have to see if it comes down or goes up in price because obviously Fodder is moving all over the place. Um, we, we did get a player of the month, I believe. Oh, wait, is this a new Kavar? A new Kavar has dropped as well. Four star, five star, this one, if you guys didn't know. A very usable card. What are the price is he coming in at? So, one squad. Okay, so this is looking cheap already off the bat. Just 185. So if we have a look here on Footbin, we will see this card is costing zero coins. <laughs> I'm not sure how much an 85 squad is, but it's just updated, so we'll get that soon. 85 rated squad. Let me just have a look at a random SBC. How much is an 85 rated squad? Who will have an 85 rated squad? Uh, I'm sure Kante will have one, right? Kante's got every other squad. Um, is Probably this one here, right? 87, 86. Okay, so an 86 is 118k. So this SPC is coming in at probably like 80k, I'd say. It isn't too bad for a decent 4 star, 5 star card. The links could do perform quite well with that. We do have Griezmann as well, who is 4 star, 4 star. Very solid looking card, to be honest. Better than his inform, just about. Two squads needed here 86 and 87, so much more expensive. Probably looking around 200 plus range. Not sure if you want to do that. We then also have marquee matchups, which has a token in it, I believe, in the Milan Napoli section it should be. And there's your token. Two Serie A players, nothing from the club, so the club shouldn't really rise. And EA yeah, done that on purpose, so people can't invest in it, I'd imagine. But there's that. Oh, is there two tokens that I just see? There's two tokens. There's also one in the PSG Olympic Lyonnais. So um there's two tokens. Don't miss out on those, are pretty easy ones. No club requirement too, so yeah, you know what they're doing there. And putting in the low chemistry squads. Um, let's see if we got one in Silver Stars. I believe that was supposed to come yesterday, but it didn't. A birthday party. Okay, that's already been out. Everything you can see is just glitched. I think it's supposed to be a token there, but it doesn't seem to be. But that seems to be all the content from EA today. So we can move straight on to the leaks and then our trades. Let me pull up the leak section of our Discord. Let's start right at the top. So we knew Kaval was leaked. We then got Timo Werner who is on the loading screen leak. And I think he has five star skills. So that's Timo Werner coming. And then we have a massive, massive leak, which is in Kunku to come as a SBC. Five star, five star, obviously, as he's already five star, four star. So that's gonna be insane and crazy expensive. We did a poll on our Discord in our stream to see who would complete this over Kante, and the poll was like 35 to 3 in favor of Nkunku. So you can bet your bottom dollar. Fodder rose with Kante, gonna rise with Nkunku, and that is a big thing to do with our investment. Next up, we have Gattuso, who's also been leaked to come as an SBC. We have um, a loading screen here, which is Figo, Maldini, Kaka, we believe. Bamba's been leaked to come, Rabio's been leaked to come. So a lot of good cards are coming in Team 2. It does seem better in Team 1, and as I speak right now, Wayne Rooney has been leaked. Uh, who knows if he has 5 star skills or weak foot, but he will have one of the two. And uh, judging by how expensive that Beckham card was, maybe this card could be crazy expensive too. But now, let's get into our investments and let's take a look. Let's first talk about this Kante card and see what happened here. Simply, it was a bad trade for me and I got out of it very, very fast. I managed to sell my three cards at 930k or 920. He actually has rebounded. He got really low this afternoon. He got 872. Basically, the low point, I timed it way too early. The logic was that people would go and do this because they couldn't afford this. But what I didn't take into account was the amount of people that had, had received free fodder from all the fodder that has been given out from all the birthday objectives. People were actually completing this card, even though it was doubling the price almost. Basically, everyone had the fodder to do it or could go get the fodder or they saved the fodder or they were just spending the coins. That's why he hasn't performed as well. But it does look like he has found a bottom here, 870k. You can see it's a quite a steep rise. That could be due to non-tent today. But with Nkunku around the corner, I'm staying away from any expensive cards that I can. 
So yeah, unfortunately that was an L, but sometimes if you take those L's, I told everyone here to get out and in all honesty, it's never a nice thing to have to do, but unfortunately it comes to trading, you can't be perfect every time. Gattuso, we talked about him coming. And then here is the big investment of the day, big investment of the video, which we posted on the Patreon yesterday. Thomas Muller. You might be asking why Thomas Muller? Well, he's going out of packs on Friday, which is today when you see this video. He's the cheapest 91 rated spotter and with Nkunku around the corner, and likely 10 times more demand than Kante as he's 5-5. And don't forget, Nkunku's actually a pro player card. There's still a lot of room for the 91 to move. The key point to snipe this card would probably be during marquee matchup supply, which obviously hasn't really worked out because marquee matchups have just come out now. Maybe I should be sniping now and not talking to you guys if I think about it. If you have a look at the 91s, they're all pretty much 80k, but this guy is achievable at 75, I'm, ass I'm assuming, unless that's just a footprint undercut, which is very possible. Let's see if I can pick up any right now. As I said, marquee matchups has come out. People won't know though, so it won't be as effective as at 6 p.m. But if I see any 75, I'll be happy picking them up. Let's see what his actual price is. 78, 78, 5. Let's see if any pop. In honesty, it doesn't look like anything's popping right now. This is what happens when SPTs get released late. Obviously, see, look, they are popping up, so we're going to keep sniping now. I'll talk to you for a couple seconds. When um, EA delay the content and they have to release it later, people don't realize straight away. People have gone off the game, they've gone to have dinner, gone to do their work. It's going to be nowhere near as effective anymore. But slowly, the supply will come, and fortunately, I lagged out there. Otherwise, I would have won that snipe. You can see they're clearly appearing for under 75k. There you go, there's 73k. No, honestly, as soon as I finish this video, I'm going to sit here and just snipe this guy like crazy. Because if all the other 91s are over 80k, he will rise too. And not to mention, with Nkunku around the corner, it doesn't seem like anything is going to keep this high tier fodder down. If anything, it's only going to go up more and more. And there's still room to climb because if you compare it to the other 92s, and these cheapest 92s, 120k. Rush, I really do like as an investment at 130k. He's almost fodder and also a good card and usable. Um, the higher tier fodder, you don't want to touch. If these go to 55, yeah, you can go buy them. 36 here, 37 here is good. Uh, 25 will be alright for the 88. You can see the high tier fodder is coming down with marquee matchup supply, so it's a good opportunity to get in. We have been told something is coming as well, which may require 87 to 89s. So um, that's what someone has leaked to me. So I'm not sure how accurate that is, but if you want to get involved, those prices or cheaper should be okay or relatively safe, just based on the fact that Nkunku is coming too. Alex Andrews, obviously, out people are probably going to do that, so fodder will have demand and it will keep demand. Um, other than that, we have a few other good tips for you guys, like So and all these other cards. I want to talk to you about a very, very easy and simple tip, which you guys can do right now, hopefully, by the time you're watching this video. And it's to do with the gold commons. So you guys might be aware that Team 2 seems way better than Team 1. But with that, what can we do with that? We can basically say that people are going to want to stack those 81 plus player picks before 6pm on a Friday. And whenever you see this, you see this low tier cheap fodder, like the really, really cheap fodder, like the upgrade pack fodder, they fly. But even right now, you can pick these up on bid for 500 coins, these gold commons. These will rise to at least 700 for lady sales tomorrow before 6 p.m. And in all honesty, they could easily go to 800 or 900. So I would highly recommend you get as many gold commons as you can right now at 500 coins or lower, even 600 coins. Realistically, 200 coins lower than what they sell for like instantly or within the first minute. And make sure you sell them before 6 p.m. But as close to 6 p.m. as you can, because people will be rushing, trying to get as many of those last picks in ready for the content. So. This works every week, especially when there's a hype team coming up, and you can bet this is a hype team. You can definitely make that kind of a move. If we go to um, our other alerts, this is the Patreon section. Obviously, we've got Muller, we've got Kante from yesterday. We have a few other things we're talking about in here. There were some other cards and prices I do still like. In all honesty, nothing's really changed. That was yesterday's loading screen. I think what we should do is look at the birthday team, and then also team of the week. Team of the week. You probably don't want to touch this, it's probably going to drop quite a lot. There's only three cards you really want to invest in, and in honesty, they're going to drop a lot by the time you see this video. Last time they did actually bottom out on Thursday night, but I would probably still avoid these cards in all honesty. And now we have Team 2. So this card, these cards, the last bit of supply is coming right now while I'm recording this video during marquee match of supply, because most people are going to save the packs for 6 p.m. tomorrow. Best looks in this team, it's quite a few good ones. First of all, stay away from all the expensive cards. I don't like any of them anymore. Too many good new cards coming. I would rather have Nkunku than best and any of these cards in all honesty, so I'll, I'll avoid that. Molo at 75k looks good. Emerson at 85k has been great. Lafon at 38 will be perfect. He's going to fly at some point. And Rui Costa as well. 140 seems a really good price, in my opinion. All these other cards which haven't really moved, like Koke, So, uh, Yere, and all these other ones, 
it's probably a good time to start picking them up and at least club stocking one of each. And Nunes and Zinchenko, who are the more expensive mini release cards. If you do want to pick these cards up for your team, normally marquee match supply is a good opportunity to do so. With the amount of crazy leaks for team two, don't be surprised if they drop further and it's very risky. So I will be avoiding the expensive cards. I will buy a few Kokes as he's pretty much fodder. Um, and I will club stock all the cheap cards. And I'm definitely getting a lot of Sows. I'm getting a few Lafonts and Emerson's for sure and Mullers. <laughs> and then honestly, a few Rushes and um, Rui Costa as well, wherever he is. And I think they're all pretty safe investments. Another card you guys know I love is Melia. Don't forget that people will be able to play champs today and they will be able to start getting their Furpo and they will want to link him to Melia. But make sure you get this card. If you have an opportunity at 30k or 32k, pick that card up. You will not regret it in my opinion at all. The risk is so low and the reward is honestly could easily go to 40k by this time next week. Um, is there anything else that we can quickly look at? Um, the more expensive cards I'd probably just avoid. Let's go to... Actually, yes. Yeah. So with Kavar, how is the links to Kavar doing? We can quickly take a look at like, Kim and Jay. Because obviously, um, his links aren't the best for Kavar, especially if he's not in the same team. You can see Kavar. Uh, you can see Kim is starting to rise. This card is much lower. I didn't actually post this one in the Patreon, but we did actually mention it on stream during the stream this afternoon. You would have seen us buy this. Make sure you subscribe or follow the Twitch channel, as you won't want to miss that kind of information. But yeah, let me get to that popular page real quick. And I will show you guys if there's any other sorts of investments. So you will see a massive drop on this Nkunku card. He's actually down at 2.6. He was almost 3 mil before. You want to stay away. Left back's going to take a hit now with Alexandro. Seems like a, a lot of good Serie A cards. People are going to do this SPC. He's only 75k. But Lynx should do really well. Liba is not in training. This card is in the mud. It doesn't look like he's going to be playing the next Arsenal game. Um, a lot of the top tier cards are just falling, 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 and I'd probably recommend you stay away from them in general. Just looking at this stuff, Bremer now, once Alexandra's come out, guess what happened to Bremer? He was over-invested and now he's starting to drop. So you can let this card drop a bit more. I'll probably see how low he goes, ideally down to 44 or, or lower, and I'll start picking up some Bremers. And people will hopefully link, link him to Alexandra after. Obviously, this is why you always sell before content. We did mention this in the subsection yesterday. Uh, buy Bremer. Did I say sell before content? Surely I said it somewhere. If I, if I didn't say it there, I would have said it here. Whenever I said that, oh God, where is it? Was it in the free section? I don't know. Well, either way, I always recommend selling before the card actually comes out. And obviously without that, from the non-tent from EA, it probably hurts me even more. People started to panic sell. And there you can see this card is just fluctuating up and down. No real profit to be made there. My favorite investment you guys all know is Muller and if you want an all-in investment or on the CS 75k or lower I don't really see too much risk in that trade especially with Nkunku coming at any moment in time people will be ready to do it including me. Emerson is a good look as we haven't had any prem right back or anything leaked obviously there's always a risk that does come. Let me quickly show you my transfer list just so you guys can get a record of what I'm actually trading. I'm actually not on a sign for once in my life. I will be by tomorrow or by the end of the stream today. Um, here's all the cards, just all the regular guys. Still a ton of Emerson, still trying to lazy sell. He's lazy selling pretty well to be honest. I'm selling 3 to 5 an hour right now for 5k profits, which is all good. And that's basically all that. My favorite moves today are Muller and Gold Commons. Gold Commons are for those of you on a low budget, Muller is for all those on a high budget. So you're basically covered, what, depending on whatever budget you're on. If you want to lazy sell or invest in some of the fodder I showed you, you can do that too, but proceed at your own risk. But you never know which product is going to actually be required and that's why they always give you a range. But I can't guarantee you that, but I can guarantee you in my opinion that I think Muller will rise. In fact, he's 5k cheaper than any other fodder is always a good sign. And the gold commons, that's free money in honesty. You can lazy sell it while you wait. Just make sure you sell before 6pm, otherwise they're going to go straight back down. And guess what, we'll buy them back on Sunday again, alright? So if you guys are on a low budget, feel free to go get those gold commons 500 coins cheaper. Listen for 700 or higher. Just make sure they're gone before 6pm, okay? Other than that, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, share the video, leave me some feedback in the comments. Hopefully you're making some coins. Hopefully you're learning a few things. Obviously, sorry about Kante, but that's why you got to keep up to date with the streams because I did actually mention it on last night's stream that I was getting out where I actually sold him. But yeah, other than that, like, subscribe, share the video, join the Patreon if you want the most exclusive tips and leaks nice and early. Other than that, have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the Twitch streams. Take it easy, everyone. Have a great day.